Hello again folks, welcome back to the next episode of Jocks playing Skyrim, Jargonian Assassin. I know, I know it's weekend, but you know, I was having so much fun with Jargonian Assassin, I was happy that we could continue on with the story again, that I'm going to skip the warrior for a weekend. Sorry guys, uh, next weekend I'll happily continue again, but right now I'm just having so much fun with the Assassin, and you know, you guys always say like, if you enjoy yourself, keep doing it, so there you go. Anyways, I believe we were about to find out what was going on with um, the whole journal that we had been given. Yes, yes. What is it? Um, are you Anthea? Can I help you with anything else? I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Yep. Do you have Gallus's journal? Yes, but there's a problem. A problem? Let me see it. Oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. Mm -hmm. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Oh, can you translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. I Word see. Word of warning. Caselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Okay. Um, why did he describe his journal in Falmer? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, mm -hmm. I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Wow. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. That sounds really interesting. Where did he acquire the knowledge to use it? Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. Mm -hmm. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. Interesting, interesting. Uh, what ex well, I know what a Falmer is. Uh, what can you tell me about Gallus? He's a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Yeah. He was an academic, yet he chose a different path. Why? For the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. Ah, oh, I know what you mean. So how did you meet him? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such <laughs> a strong friendship? That, that's kind of funny. Anyways, uh, thanks. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. I'll try. Well, it seems that we're being sent That's all over Skyrim itself to figure out what's going on here. We may not have as Whoa. much to offer as White Run or Solitude, but we'll do what we can. You huh? have a little bit of a thing going on on your face, there, lady. Ooh. So, Markarth, huh? Ironically, that's the way we actually came from. Hmm. Well, we did this trip like uh, just recently, so I'm just gonna go and start in Warthal and we'll take it from there. Really don't know what else to do. This, this, this makes total sense though. Hmm. And presto, come on. I want to know what's going on here. I'm, uh, I've been really curious this whole day now already. It's been on my mind, like I've been wondering what this is about. Whoa, hello there. Okay, so we are in Morthal. For some reason we're in the wrong way. Well, it looks like I don't have to uh, wait for the night because we have a beautiful Aurora Borealis. Lighting our way. And off we go. Really now. 
That's very, very interesting. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna. Oh boy. Oh, she's good. I think it's a she. Hold on. Um, something good, something good, something good. Let's go for this. Poisoned. You see my health? That was the Lady Stone in action. And we actually went level up, so that's pretty nice. I was hoping to see that eventually. Uh, definitely Magicka. Means I can try to train my Muffle. Uh, where do I want to put this one point? I think I might save this one point. And figure out what to use this in a later. Yeah, not really too interested in that yet. Light armor, nopes. Sneak! Oh, 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 I see something here. Sprinting while sneaking executes a silent forward roll. Um, that's easy then. There we go. Slowly getting there. That's pretty cool. We got the silent roll. I completely forgot about that. I hope this doesn't look too dark for you guys because on my screen there's like this this really eerie blue haze over the land which looks actually very very cool. Just ignore the necromancer fort here. There we go. Okay, folks, I'm going to go and fade out here until something actually happens on the road. So, I'll be right back. Now, I made a little bit of a promise here. Which is that I was going to go and pay those robbers on the road a little lesson. I can do these guys, but I'm not too interested in these guys. They are like happily in their little fort. But those robbers on the road, they actually attacked me. Not happy about that. So, we're going to see if we can actually stealth up and kill a few of those I'm not quite sure if that's actually gonna work or not but we're gonna see Let's see yeah I need to like dump the stuff from that orc on horsey Almost there. Ah, uh, this will do. Last thing I need is a wolf giving away my position. Hello? Can I loot the wolf? Thank you. I'm gonna wait one more hour, so it's a little bit lighter. There you go. Ah! Uh, what? Wasn't it 120 before? 
Am I going not so here? Well, I'll 129. I can't use anything. see one over there if you look you can just see someone standing there it's gonna be interesting trying to distract them and then s sneak up There you go. Should be having fun amongst each other. He's taking it easy. There's no one here. Do 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 do. There you go. Hiding, haha. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm kind of stuck here. There you go, have fun amongst each other. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's not good. Awaits you. you can't even see me, woman. I have absolutely no idea where she's going. There you go, eyes closing. Means that she'll be returning to her position in the view. This is what I was waiting for. Once we hit Markarth, I'll probably stop by the smithy for a moment and see if I can upgrade this trench knife. Oh god, she's slow. Come on lady, walk on. It's not that hard to walk, I think. Oh come on, really? How is that even possible?
There we go. I feel better now. She deserved that. I mean, she killed all her little buddies. Which I now have no idea for where their buddies are. Really? I thought he had a lot more on him. Still don't see how they could have gotten stuck here. Anyways, um, I'm just derping around a little bit. I figured it could be fun to exact some revenge on these guys. Because let's be honest, they kind of attacked me first. There we go, and... There's this archie dude here somewhere still. I don't know where his buddy was. Pretty sure that was an archer here. Hmm. They killed that archer dude. A bad time to get lost, friend. I thought he was that. I thought there was one archer dude that died right right here ish. It's not that guy, because that guy is quote unquote bait. Oh, there he is. There you go. Time to call Horsey and we'll get on going again. Um, what I wanted to do here was um, just see how well illusion and um, basically stealth killing would work. And in broad daylight it even makes things very effective. It's a shame I wasn't able to use my calm spell but the fury definitely made things a lot easier it made a situation where i was outnumbered severely into a situation where i actually made a chance if things would go wrong i like that that, that was pretty cool and we're on again i'm just letting this uh right out now because we're pretty close to Markarth. Just ignore everything that's gonna attack me here. Yo! Bye! Um... Straight on. It's nice to see these uh, folks are getting some exercise as well and running after me. Makes things always uh, pretty good to them. Yeah, no, we're gonna finish this. Once at least hit Markarth before this episode is ending. Let's see, straight on. Markarth, yes. And onwards we go. It's getting really misty here now. Hmm. Like, seriously really misty here. Wow. Looks pretty cool though, uh, you have to admit that. Oh. That's something I'll happily... Uh, make a little detour for. A little cave here, the Blind Cliff Cave. Okay. And I believe there's some problems up ahead. Uh, we've been here before in the other Let's Plays, so I kind of know what's up here. I think I'm just gonna go and ride through it because I'm trying to make it. See, I was going to go right past it. Never mind. I'm gonna ride past it. This is pretty close to this here. So. I'm still a little bit disappointed that I still cannot cast my muffle. That's so annoying. Oh well, nothing I can do about it, right? There's a farm here. Wow. Okay, there we go. 
Welcome to Markarth, the city built into a mountain, which actually was a Dweemer city at one point. Markarth stables discovered. Yup. And coin purse, take, take, take. Son of the Bella. Make sure I'm not stealing anything. I'm not too interested in that. Okay. Okay, folks, that's going to be the end of the episode. In the next episode, we are going to have a little looky in Markarth and see if we can find Kalsalmo. And hope he can actually tell us something about Galas' journal. So, folks, as always, I'll be right back.